Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty and NCAA Fall 2006. Today we've got the VMI Cadets traveling to the Fargo Dome to take on the 4-2 North Dakota State Bison in a subscriber versus subscriber matchup. This is a full broadcast, guys. It's going to be a long one, so strap in your seatbelts and let's get into it. Let's take a look at the rosters for both of these squads. Taking a look at the home team first, Oliver Vincent, the number one player on this team, 91 overall. Cameron, 90 overall. Max Hawthorne, the tight end, 88 overall. Zoom Reed, 82. Dio Langston, an 82. And it looks like he's going to be suspended, so we're going to see that here in a few minutes. Calvin Jasper Jr., 82 overall quarterback. Ryan Irwin-Dowski, 80 overall. Austin Bracey, 78. Anders Harliday, 78. Tahoka Nanticoke, 78. Jake Harlow, 76. Zeke Marunde, a 74 overall. And that is it for our subscriber players for North Dakota State. Let's go ahead and take a look at VMI. Matt Keller is the top player. The fullbacks uh, for these teams, for these subscriber players, it was really hard to make their overalls lower. You can see his awareness is a 56. And his other ratings really aren't that great, but his overall is high anyway. So the fullbacks are most likely going to be the best players on all of the subscriber teams if there are subscriber fullbacks. Trey Upton, 85. William Reed, 85 in three games. So we're going to be without him today. Henry Hamilton, impact defensive tackle. Justin Hops, 84 overall. Jake Berry. So both of these teams have tight ends. So that will be an interesting matchup um, going against the linebackers. Bryson Shields, 82 overall. Darius Peters, 80 overall. And you can see their overalls are going up because of their performance on the field. Cam Sanders, uh, the cadets were without him for quite a few games due to suspension. As soon as he came back, the offense was absolutely electric. Joseph Martin, 76 overall. Jason Wright, 74. And that is it for our subscriber players for both. Let's take a look at their schedules really quick before we get into the game. So North Dakota State started off with a loss to the fourth-ranked Colorado State Rams. They got thumped in that game. They came back the next week, got a victory against the Dukes of James Madison, and then they got thumped again by Rice and their dual-threat quarterback. That guy was unstoppable. And then, the week after that, North Dakota State explodes for 94 points against Big 12 opponent Southeastern. 94-24, the most points we've seen from one of our teams in this dynasty. Then they beat Nichols State 52-49. So these guys know how to put up some points, but they've had a rough time stopping the points. Last week, 40-38 victory over Western Carolina, and the Catamounts just came off of a huge win over South Dakota State. So uh, Western Carolina's offense was nasty. North Dakota State hung with them and was able to pull out a victory in the end. That was a very exciting game. If you have not watched that one yet, go ahead and check that one out. I definitely recommend that one. All right, VMI, they started off the season very poorly. They're without their halfback for the uh, next three games after Wyoming. But they hung up 24 points on Wyoming, so I was pretty impressed with them then. And then Bryant beat them in a subscriber versus subscriber matchup. VMI had a couple suspensions, so they were not at full strength for that game. And, of course, Bryant has been dominating opponents all season. And they lost to Tulane 42-10. And that's the last time they lost. They have won three straight conference games. Chattanooga, they beat 52-10. Furman, they beat 48-3. And Southeast Missouri State, they beat 42-10. Of course, the Red Hawks are 0-7 on the season, struggling. But this is definitely going to be the biggest conference matchup for VMI this season. They do not face South Dakota State. So this is definitely for a shot at the conference championship game. Let's go ahead and take some action here because of suspensions. Dio Langston, team rules, two games. Let's see what he did. Local papers report that Langston recently received special privileges at a Fargo department store. What do you want to do? I mean, I don't really think that's too big of a deal. Let's give him one game. And that is it. VMI at full strength, just about. So there's one suspension for each team right now, I believe. Yep, William Reed and Dio Langston, both defensive ends are out for this game. And a couple offensive linemen that are both absolute garbage. So this is going to be a good matchup. 72 ranked 
VMI versus the 41st ranked North Dakota State Bison, both 3-0 in Big 12 play. And this is definitely probably gives one of them the top spot in the Big 12. Here we are in the Fargo Dome. North Dakota State set to kick it off first. Last week they put up 528 yards of offense, but they gave up 421 yards on their defense. So 347 of that was passing. So we're going to see if they can't contain Justin Hops today. And the kick is deep to the end zone. Returned by Bryson Shea, taken down at the 20-yard line. So Justin Hops in that offense comes out on the field. And they are raring to go. Of course, last week, VMI won 42 to 10. They put up 534 yards of offense, 289 on the ground, 245 through the air. And they're going to come out with hops throwing immediately. And that pass hits the grass. That goes nowhere. So not off to a good start, throwing the football. Hops having a, a pretty decent season so far. Over 1,000 passing yards, 8 touchdowns, 8 picks on the year. He also has 402 rushing yards with 4 scores. But he has fumbled the football 8 times. So 8 picks, 8 fumbles. Not very good. Cam Sanders gets stuffed. Now Sanders, of course, was suspended for quite a few games. He only has 446 yards rushing this year with two scores. He also has seven catches, 98 yards, and two touchdowns, but he gets stuffed on his first carry of this game. Shotgun formation, five wide receivers set for hops. Stays in the pocket, throws deep right side, and it's completed down the field of the 35-yard line to Benson, the non-subscriber wide receiver. Fantastic throw right over the hands of the safety. VMI starts off with some fireworks on third down and 10. They pick up over 40 yards on a bomb. And they're going to come out in the same formation. No, actually Cam Sanders is in the backfield. So three wide receivers, one tight end, one halfback. See if they go with a throw here again. They will. Quick pass. Right side, Bryson Shields has the catch. The cornerback in there playing some slot receiver. And he's only going to pick up one yard. That'll make it second down and nine. Hops under center now. Sanders in the backfield, one tight end. Hops hot routing a receiver. Bryson Shields can't hear him. It's loud here in the Fargo Dome. They're going to hand it off to Sanders. And again, he gets stuffed for no gain. I think that was Austin Bracey on the tackle. And if it was, that's going to give Austin Bracey his 38th tack on the season. He also has six for a loss, one sack, three picks for 99 yards and a touchdown, and four pass deflections. Another third and nine situation. Hop's going to take off. He is sacked for a loss of two yards. Let's see who got him. Number 65, the defensive tackle. And the Bison holds strong. And I don't know if the kicker is going to come out here because that is going to be a 51-yard field goal attempt. And they're going to send on the punting team. So no trust in the kicker, which is totally reasonable. Kickers are not very good on these squads. So North Dakota State with a huge stop on defense. And that is a high kick. Fair catch called for. And it goes into the end zone for the touchback. So we're going to see Calvin Jasper Jr. Token, Anacoke, Zoomer Speed, Cameron May, Ryan Erwindowski, Max Hawthorne, Jake Harlow, and Anders Harladay. And the Bison offense on the field. Jasper Jr. comes out in the shotgun. Nanako to his right. And he's going to try to take off. And he is sacked for a loss of two yards. So both quarterbacks have been sacked so far today. And it is because they tried to scramble. And they got nothing out of it. That's going to make it second and 12 for the Bison. They've got a lot of talent in the backfield. Let's see if they utilize that. Zoomer speed, of course on the Adam Vinatieri Award watch list for the best special teams player in the country at the FCS level. Shotgun formation again. Calvin right side, screen play, and that is to Erwin Dowski. It goes nowhere. That's his 11th catch on the season, though. He's going to lose two yards, so that'll give him 11 catches for 324 yards and 
three, three scores on the year. The Bison, 107 in the nation on third down. So, so not, not an ideal situation for them. Third and 414. And they're going to throw it here deep, maybe. And the quarterback is hit as he throws it. That pass hits the grass. And we're going to have another three and out here from the Bison. We've seen that quite a few times this season. And third downs there, not, not very good. Last week they were one of six on third down conversions. And that is actually a pretty decent punt all the way to the 35-yard line. Bryson Shields with a nice speed burst. Gets it up past the 40-yard line. First and 10 from the 47. Hops under center. Bryson Shields in the slot. They're going to hand to Sanders. Jukes to the outside. First down and more. Up in 40-yard line. His first positive carry of the game. So VMI's offense looking like they're getting a little bit more done today than the Bison. A couple big plays so far for VMI, but can they get in the end zone? you got to at least get inside the 30-yard line if you want your kicker at this level to you know, attempt a field goal. And they keep trying to hot route here in this stadium. It is loud. Hops, left side, option. Fakes the pitch. What a move. Gets the first down. That was a really good fake from Justin Hops. That's going to give him over 415 rushing yards on the season. And they are inside the 30-yard line already. First and 10 from the 26. Hops under center, two tight end formation. They're going to continue the ground game. Hops keeps it himself, picks up three or four yards. Nice safe play. Nothing crazy, no, no chances taken right there. They want to get in the end zone here. And they're going to come out in the shotgun formation. Sanders and Keller in the backfield with Hops. And again, he's trying to hot route a receiver. Letting the clock run down as much as possible. Play action. Hops to the end zone. Deflected away by Oliver Vincent, one of the top cornerbacks in the country. I'm surprised Hops tested him. But if you want to win big games, you've got to take big chances. That's going to make it third and six. Of course, VMI last week was seven of 11 on third down conversions. They were very good against Southeast Missouri State. I formation, Jake Barry in the tight end spot right now. See if they go to him on play action. And they will go play action, but Hops is brought down on the sack. And that is Tohoka Noke with the sack. So the halfback playing some linebacker, and that is his career sack, folks. And he comes through unblocked on the blitz. And I believe that is going to knock VMI way back out of field goal range again. If they attempt this, it'll be a 47-yard field goal, and I do not think the kicker has the leg for it. And they're actually going to keep the offense on the field. Fourth and 14. Hops in the shotgun by himself. Five wide receivers set. Going to have to take a shot. He has time to throw. Over the middle and it's caught wide open is Joseph Martin for the score. Oh my goodness. Fourth and 14. North Dakota State allows a free runner into the end zone for the score. Wow. That is unbelievable that that just happened. Joseph Martin, only his second touchdown reception on the season. Only his eighth catch. And it's going to put VMI on top. 6-0 right now. Pending the extra point, it'll be 7-0. Now the prediction for this game, I did pick VMI winning it 21-20. I do think they have a little bit more, uh, more weapons to work with than the Bison. And it is 7-0 here in the Fargo Dome, folks. This will be a huge win for VMI if they can continue their success on offense and defense. Both teams 3-0 in the conference so far. VMI set to kick it off again. Second time this game. And the kick is deep. All the way back to the end zone. Zoomer speed on the return. Right side taken down at the 23-yard line. Let's see what Calvin Jasper Jr. has in store for us. 
He came into this game with 1,212 yards, 10 touchdowns, 6 picks. He also had 415 yards and 4 touchdowns. And he's going to come out slinging it. Throws it left side, deflected away. Bryson Shields almost had a pick. That was a dangerous throw. That would have been Bryson's third pick on the season. Now with a ground attack here, if you're the Bison, you, you have to run it. They've had a really good ground game this year. Their leading rusher is actually Cameron May, their fullback. He's got 442 yards and six touchdowns. And they're going to go option here. Tohoku Nanako tries to stiff arm Bryson Shields, but a great open field tackle for the corner. And he's having himself a really good game already here in the first quarter. Great open field tackle. And we haven't really seen that a whole lot from Bryson Shields this season. Third and five situation. If you're North Dakota State, you cannot afford another three and out. Less than a minute remains here in the first. And they're going to go with Tohoka Nanako. And again, Bryson Shields on the tackle. Oh, goodness. That'll make it fourth and one. North Dakota State's going to have to punt the football away. John Long on to kick it uh, deep. Back deep is Bryson Shields for the return. He's got 10 punt returns on the season for 86 yards. And that is a kick all the way down to the 23-yard line. Bryson Shields left side in the open field. Past midfield, taken down at the last second. He almost had a score. Oh, my goodness. Bryson Shields player of the game so far here in the first quarter. Just absolutely dominating. He also has a reception. Don't forget about that, guys. The first and 10 from the 37-yard line, VMI has dominated so far. Let's see if they can't get in the end zone again. I-formation here. Jake Berry out to the left side. And they're going to hand it off to Sanders. And he's going to pick up a nice six-yard gain. And that is going to be it for the first quarter. VMI on top, 7 to nothing here in Fargo, North Dakota. Let me know if you guys are enjoying the full broadcast so far. I do enjoy these. It is my goal to eventually be a sports broadcaster, you know, for actual football games. That would be awesome. Hops hands it off, and Sanders dropped for a loss. So other than two runs from Cam Sanders, all of his other carries have been for either no gain or a loss. And I believe it was three or four for no gain and a loss. So the uh, North Dakota State Bison front seven doing a decent job so far. As Hops goes option right side, has the first down. He tries that fake again, and it gets him a couple extra yards, but he picks up the first. And VMI, 35 yards on the ground so far. Their ground game has been pretty nasty since Cam Sanders has returned. Before that, they were they were struggling pretty good. Hops in the shotgun. Sanders to his left. Three wide receiver set. Bryson Shields is in slot. And Hops is going to take a shot. Deflected away by Zoomer Speed. He wanted to find Bryson Shields. That is a go-to man so far on offense, defense, and special teams. He's doing it all. If Hops just had a little bit more air under that throw, that would have been a touchdown. And it would have been Zoomer Speed's um, second interception on the season. Instead, he went for the deflection. Nice move there by Sanders. Picks up a couple extra like, yards. But Zoomer Speed, he has one pick on defense this year. Two pass deflections, 20 tackles, one for a loss. So he's been doing quite well for himself on defense as well as special teams. But that would have been Bryson Shields' first touchdown reception. If Hops actually got some air under it. Third and five. I formation. Option again. Hops cuts it back. Has the first down. Dives for it. Right past Zeke Marunde. Hops ninth in the conference for yards. Tied for fifth for touchdown runs on the year. So he's having a really good season. If he cuts down the turnovers, VMI is going to be a power here in the Big 12. First and 10 from the 11-yard line. VMI looking to take a two-score lead over the home team, North Dakota State. Pro formation, two tight ends set. Cam Sanders right up the gut, runs through the linebacker and picks up the first down inside the one yard line. A powerful run. And I'm not sure which linebacker he ran over. 
but it was not nice. 134 yards of offense so far for the Cadets. Only five for North Dakota State. They've had two three and outs. Goal line formation. Hop and the pass is deflected at the line of scrimmage. I don't know why you throw it there. You've had success running the football. You have a great fullback in Matt Keller, who has five touchdown runs on the season. 238 yards rushing. I would just hand it off to him. Hops under center. And they're going to go option. They should have handed it to Keller. He walked into the end zone. Instead, Hops tried to keep it himself. And he loses two yards on the carry. 289 yards rushing last week against Southeast Missouri State on 40 carries. They were rolling on the ground. They're going to come out same formation, third and goal. This time, Hops going to keep it himself again. And he walks into the end zone for an easy touchdown. Austin Bracey completely whiffed. I believe that was Zeke Morunde who got pancaked in the end zone. And VMI is up two touchdowns, folks. 14 to nothing here pending the extra point. A very dominating performance here in the first half in Fargo, North Dakota. So the fans not very happy right now. And the extra point makes it 14 nothing. Let's see if North Dakota State can have some success on offense here. We have yet to see any of Zoomer Speed or Cameron May. I believe we've seen a couple awful throws from Calvin Jasper Jr. And a couple short runs from Tohoku and Nanakoke. Nothing special. They haven't got a first down yet. The stadium is quiet. Down two scores. BMI on for the kickoff, and the kick is deep down to the left side at the end zone. That's Zoomer Speed. He's going to try to go up the sideline, take it down to 24. Zoomer has over 690 kick return yards this season with three scores. Kevin Jasper under center for the first of this drive. And they're going to hand it off. Nanakoke breaks a tackle, but only gets one yard. They have to try to stretch the field here. You've got some good targets. You've got Ryan Ermandowski. He's not the fastest, but he's got good hands. You've got Max Hawthorne, who has 15 catches, 371 yards, and two scores on the year. you got to try to get them the football. And they're going to go draw play, and Nanakoke only picks up two yards. So very vanilla offense so far. They haven't really tried anything. They just keep running it up the middle or having incomplete passes thrown from Kevin Jasper Jr. And he's under center now. Play action, and he is going to be dropped for the sack. That is Rosner's second sack on the game. Oh, my goodness. Right past the left tackle. So North Dakota State, three drives on offense, three, three and outs. VMI is dominating on all sides of the football right now. And they're kicking off, they're punting it away to Bryson Shields, who might get another good return. And he gets up to the state yard line, a decent return. And they will start off at the 38, so <laughs> pretty good field position again. For VMI, they don't have to go very far for a field goal range. Just about maybe 35 yards to get in field goal range for their kicker. And they're going to start off with Cam Sanders right up the middle. He's going to pick up four yards. He's got 41 today on eight carries, averaging 5.1 yards per carry. Now, I fully believe if Cam Sanders was not suspended this season that he would have been um, in the discussion for Walter Payton Award and the Jerry Rice Award. I mean, the few games that he's been in there, the entire game, he has dominated. And here he goes again, juking, hurtling, picking up a first down for VMI. That is their eighth of the game. North Dakota State has yet to get one. I think the most impressive aspect of this game so far has been VMI's defense not allowing any first downs. I formation, Keller and Sanders in the backfield. 
And they're going to go option. Hops has speed. He pitches it out late to Sanders. He's going to pick up eight more yards. Now, Cam Sanders last week had 19 carries for a buck 86 with a touchdown. Now, in that game, his longest run was only 21 yards. So, they were just pounding the rock all game. They didn't need huge plays. And he's going to get taken down by Zeke Marunde here, but that is a face mask on his first tackle of the game. That's a first down for VMI. So another mistake here for North Dakota State. It's going to be first and 10 from the 36-yard line. VMI threatening to score yet again. This is not at all how I expected North Dakota State's defense to play, and there's a nice run. And Vincent Shields playing some fullback. What is going on right now? Five-yard carry for the corner. They are putting him in every position right now. I won't be surprised if he's playing some quarterback later on in this game. Wasn't really worried about North Dakota State's um, ground defense today. I was more worried about the pass defense, but here is another nice run for Cam Sanders. That's going to give him 65 for the game. Wow, VMI is just wearing him out right now, and that's going to open up the playbook for some big plays because their defense is just going to be completely gassed. First and 10 from the 22. Less than a minute remains, and we have yet to see a first down. They finally get a nice tackle here on Cam Sanders for no gain. VMI one time out remaining. There's concern on anybody's face on VMI. They're just going through the motions, and it's looking very easy for him. Hop's going to take off here, and he is sacked for a loss of three. Oh, no, this could be major. Justin Hops has injured his shoulder on the play, and that is not a good sight if you are a VMI cadet fan or a football fan in general. You don't want to see a star quarterback get injured, especially when their team is doing quite well. So VMI with their backup quarterback in. They're four of six on third downs today. And they're going to throw it with the backup. Takes a deep shot to the end zone, and it is caught. It is brought in. Oh, my goodness gracious. One for one, the backup quarterback is. And that was, I believe, Jason Wright on the reception. And it was Jason Wright. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what to say. That's his second touchdown reception on the season. Only his 11th reception total. And he was wide open. He just torched that cornerback. The backup quarterback comes in for one play and throws a touchdown. An absolute dart. VMI on top. 21-0 to zero here in Fargo, North Dakota. In the Fargo Dome. You can hear a pin drop in this stadium currently. Nine plays, 61-yard drive. Ends in another VMI Kidet touchdown. Who else is shocked? I want to see it in the chat. But let's not count out North Dakota State, folks. There's still plenty of time left. We don't know if Justin Hops is coming back in, so that is going to possibly affect... The VMI offense, maybe not. I mean, the backup did just throw a touchdown pass on his first throw of the game. Back deep to return. Zoomer speed. And Oliver Vinson, the star cornerback. And he's going to get it up to the 25-yard line, or the 26, excuse me. With just under 30 seconds remaining. North Dakota State has all timeouts left. But we have yet to see a first down from them. There has been no sign of life on this offense. Calvin Jasper Jr. in the shotgun. Nanakoke right next to him. And they will throw it. Trying to get something going. And that pass is overthrown. He wanted Erwin Dowski. And he was just overthrown. And good news for VMI. Justin Hops will return. So I'm expecting their offense to come back out in the second half and continue to dominate. And we have another overthrown pass from Kelvin Jasper Jr. What is going on with this young man today? 
He's overthrown everybody. And we have yet to really see him um, try to get the ball to Max Hawthorne. He's 6'4", 242 pounds. You've got to get that to your big tight end. You have to. He's a beast. Take off, Calvin. He will. And he still doesn't get a first down. Fourth and one. So that's what, their fourth three and out of the game. They are struggling right now. And VMI has all their, or no timeouts left. They just called their final one. But they're going to have time for at least maybe one or two more plays. And John Long punts it deep. Bryson Shields on the return, breaks a tackle. And taken down at his own 24-yard line. So I'm expecting just a run play here to run the clock out and go into the half with a three-touchdown lead in Fargo. I cannot imagine being a North Dakota State Bison fan right now in this stadium. Getting blown out <laughs> by VMI. Hops under center. I formation. They're going to hand it off to Sanders. Breaks a tackle. He's in the open field. Oh, no. Can he get out of bounds? No, he can't. Take it down at the 49-yard line. That gives him 92 for the game on 14 carries. Oh, my God. He ran over a defensive tackle. That is unreal. And they're going to go no huddle here to try to stop the clock. Maybe run one more play, but they don't have enough time. That's going to be the first half, folks. 21-0. VMI looking for their fourth win on the season. North Dakota State is shook right now. Somebody get them some milk. Rondé Barber came in today with a fantastic game plan on defense. It does help that Kelvin Jasper Jr. has been very bad when it comes to accuracy today. He needs to run the ball a little bit more. He came into this game second on the team and rushing behind Cameron May. We have yet to see May have the football at all. So I'm not sure what Slovakia Griffith is doing with his squad, the head coach for North Dakota State. But here's Zuber Speed, breaks loose to the outside on the sideline. Past midfield, Zuber Speed opens up the second half with a kick return for a touchdown. The Adam Vinatieri Award watch list member with his fourth kick return for a touchdown on the season that puts him well over 700 return yards actually he now has over 800 and North Dakota State who needs first downs you got zoomer speed on special teams let him run and he will get your team back in this game 21-7 now folks definitely how the bison wanted to start off the second half because they're looking very very bad in the first half but we do need their offense to get something going. I don't even think they have 20 yards of offense at this point. And we are in the third quarter. VMI set to return the kickoff. Back deep is Bryson Shields and Jason Wright, I believe. Nope, Joseph Martin is the other return man. He's got 15 kick returns for 405 yards on the season. And it's going to be Shields, or Martin, excuse me. And he's going to go up the sideline. He's got a lot of space. Past midfield, past the 40. Joseph Martin is going to have his first career kick return for a touchdown. Back to back. Completely negating Zoomer Speed's return for a touchdown. So it remains a three-score lead here in the Fargo Dome. Special teams has been... <laughs> It's just unbelievable in this series so far. So many returns for touchdowns. There will be less and less as the years go on as we have more depth around the nation on all teams. Because right now there's just not enough speed for the backups to actually contain the speed of the return men. Especially against teams like Alcorn State where they have two receivers with speed over 95. Fastest players in the nation. It's almost impossible to contain them. Half the time, I just I try to kick it out of bounds so that they can't have returns for touchdowns. Because that's how games change, and you let teams back in. And here's Zoomer Speed again, breaks the tackle, and gets up past the 30-yard line. So another solid return for Zoomer Speed. But what are we going to see from Calvin Jasper Jr. and this offense? Slovakia Griffith, the head coach, needs to mix it up. 
We need to see Cameron May. We need to see Nanako get some carries. Something has to give here. You have to try to complete some passes. Maybe some slants. Or some short out routes. Anything. Instead, Kelvin Jasper Jr. is going to get sacked. And that was Trey Upton on the sack. And that is his third on the season. The middle linebacker coming into the game with 24 tackles, 8 for a loss, and 2 sacks with one pick. Now has 3 sacks. That makes the second and 14. Are we going to see a first down from North Dakota State today? Play action. Jasper Jr. right side. Nanako gets dropped for a loss on a pass play. My goodness. I mean, they did what I said. You got to do some short passing, but you got to get some yards out of it. Because right now, you're, you're doing nothing but going backwards against the defense that really up until the last couple weeks has not been that great. And he's going to have to throw it again here. Pressure, throws off his back foot, and it's almost picked off. And he's throwing off his back foot. He's not getting any power on his throws. And he has negative two passing yards today, guys. Negative two. He came into the game with 1,212. He has 1,210 right now. So that is the fifth third, uh, three and out so far for the Bison. Bryson Shields on the punt return from the 25-yard line. Up the sideline. A lot of space in front of him. You have got to be kidding me. Touchdown, VMI. <laughs> wow. This game has been blown wide open. That is Bryson Shields' first career punt return for a touchdown. They are absolutely destroying North Dakota State today. And the Bison are only missing Dio Langston on defense. That's it. And the extra point is up and good. 35-7 to is the score. I expect the fans to start filing out of this stadium rather quickly. Let's see if we get a sixth third, uh, three and out here from North Dakota State. Let's see if Zoomer Speed can get another kick return for touchdown. Not that it would really matter a whole lot at this point. Back deep to return it is Oliver Vincent, actually, from three yards deep. He's going to take it out and follow some blockers. He's up the sideline, and Oliver Vincent is going to have himself a kick return for a touchdown. <laughs> what is going on right now? North Dakota State has more points than they have offensive yards. And that is all thanks to Zoomer Speed and Oliver Vincent. Wow. So if not for special teams, this game would be... 28 to 0 currently. Or no. A VMI has two special teams touchdowns as well, so it'd be 21 0. <laughs> My goodness. So, for anybody that says special teams doesn't matter, you don't know football. Because that's the only reason that North Dakota State has any points. But both of their touchdowns were basically negated by two special teams touchdowns for VMI. So, four touchdowns off of returns. John Long on for the kickoff. Will we have another one? And he's going to kick it deep. This one is to Martin from the four-yard line. And this time he does not get out of the, uh, <laughs> out of the secondary, or out of the coverage. First and 10 from the 24-yard line. VMI, I expect to continue to pound the ground game right down North Dakota State's throat. Bison come out in a 3-4, which is not really good right now because Cam Sanders is just running straight through the middle of their defensive line. So they got to switch it up on defense a little bit. Slovakia Griffiths was uh, a nickel cornerback, and he also played some safety in the nickel. Uh, for us in our Mississippi State Bulldog Dynasty. So I would expect him to try to do some of that defense right now. And here's Sanders. They did run the nickel that time, and it worked out for him. Sanders gets dropped. So it's third and nine. Don't count out North Dakota State yet, guys. 
I may have already, but there's still plenty of time. They do need to get a stop here, though. That is critical for them. Hops in the shotgun by himself. Third and nine. And he will throw it. Quick pass. And Harvey is only going to get maybe a yard. There's a holding call as well. That'll be declined by Griffith. And the Bison are going to send on the punt return unit. Rondé Barber not happy with that call. He needs a hug. See if Zoomer Speed can get his team back within two scores. Carrying the team right now. The special teams is. And that is a skyrocket of a punt. And this is actually Oliver Vincent. He's going to go up the right sideline. A lot of space in front of him. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, my goodness. And there's a clipping call. Wow. Clipping on Austin Bracey negates the third return for touchdown for the Bison. So that is going to send out their piss-poor offense from their own 30-yard line. They desperately need a touchdown here, or this game will probably be over. Calvin under center. Nanakoke in the backfield. They have yet to hand the ball off to Cameron May, which is a travesty right now because he is a beast. And they're going to go Nanakoke, and he is dropped for a loss of two. That was Trey Upton, his 10th tackle for a loss on the season. I'm not even sure what they're doing right now. You gotta try to throw the football a little bit. Maybe go with some options. Instead, they keep coming out in these big formations. Here is an option play though. Calvin Jasper Jr. pitches it out. Zoomer Speed has it on the sideline. And look at this, you have to get your playmakers the ball in the open field. Zoomer Speed to the house. That is gonna get the Bison within two touchdowns. I've been preaching this all game for the Bison. You have to run the football to the outside. You have to get the playmakers the ball. You can't just keep running it right up the gut with Tolk and Nanako. And you can't keep throwing it because there has been zero success throwing the football. Every time they've thrown it, it's either been an overthrow or a loss on a pass play. You get Zoomer Speed the ball, he takes it to the house. So he's got a, a kick return for a touchdown today. And now he has a rushing touchdown, which is huge. And it's 35 to 21. Plenty of time left. Everybody still has all their timeouts. VMI needs a touchdown here. If not, North Dakota State's going to have all the momentum. If they get a quick stop here, I expect the Bison to come back out and score another quick touchdown. John Long on for the field goal. Or on for the uh, kickoff. He's going to kick it up deep. Down to the one-yard line. Bryson Shields on the return. Taken down at the 22-yard line. So a very unexciting kick return. Probably the first one of the day. Now for VMI, I would continue to run the football. You've had a lot of success today. Cam Sanders closing in on 100 yards. I would also try to get Matt Keller involved. He does have five scores on the season. And they're going to go option play. Hops, pitches it out. But Sanders dropped by Zoomer Speed out there playing some corner. And that was a zero-yard pickup. But they are going to keep running the clock as much as they can. Try to wear out this defense. That's what they've been doing all game. And Hops going to go option again. Left side this time. Pitches out. Sanders has it. He's got the first down. And a nice open field tackle by the safety. That puts Sanders up over 100 rushing yards today. Now, all of his games this season since his suspension ended have resulted in 100-yard uh, games on the ground. This is his third game back from suspension. Hop's going to throw it. He is sacked. That play, oh my goodness, Justin Hopps injured again. He injured his elbow on this play. And I hope he's all right. Definitely poor timing on the injuries. That's going to make it second and 17. That blitzer came through unblocked. 
And Hops never even saw him. He should have got rid of that football a lot sooner. Second and 17, quarterback under center. He's going to throw it. A second pass of the game is deflected away by Austin Bracey, who has had a fantastic season out in coverage this year. That's going to be his fifth pass deflection. He also has three interceptions for 99-yard return on returns and one touchdown. Five of eight on third downs today, but it is third and 17 for the Cadets. They're going to throw it. Will he actually toss it? He will. Wide open is Bryson Shields at midfield. Oh, my goodness. 14 first downs for VMI. North Dakota State only one today. And you just let a cornerback run a perfect route and get wide open. Bryson Shields, you are ridiculous. I think I'm going to try to get him the ball more when I'm usering the Cadets. I do have him in there playing slot on some formations, but I never really toss him the pigskin. They're going to throw it again. Right side caught again. This time it is Cam Sanders. That was very dangerous. Court rolling out to his left, throws it back to the right. Somehow completes the pass. Less than a minute remains here in the third quarter. VMI looking to go back up three scores. Justin Hops is done for the day, so it's not terrible news. It could have been worse. He could have been out for the season. So they're going to have to rely on their ground game for the rest of today. And they're going to go option here. And <laughs> that quarterback has no speed. He tried the fake pitch and got lit up. That's going to make it third down and long yet again. Third and eight from North Dakota State's 48-yard line. VMI 6 of 9 on third downs today. Looking to get to 70%. There's five wide receivers. Jake Berry in the slot. And they're going to throw it out deep. And it's caught by Harvey inside the 15-yard line. They're getting carved up by the backup. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Not sure what that safety's doing. But he's supposed to be out there helping Zoomer Speed. And he did not do that one bit. And that might be the final play of the third quarter. We'll see if VMI will actually snap the ball here. There's a look at their red zone percentage, 95% on the season. Mostly touchdowns. And they will snap the football. They're going to go option and get nothing out of it. So we're going to go into the fourth quarter. VMI on top, 35-21 to over the 4-2 North Dakota State Bison. Second and 10, Cam Sanders in the backfield, quarterback under center. They're going to throw it. Pressured, wide open over the middle is Joseph Martin for the score, second of the game, but there is a holding call. This quarterback has just been on point every single throw that he's had. Too bad that one was called back for holding. That'll make it second and 20. Joseph Martin robbed of his third touchdown in the season. Third of this game, actually because he does have a kick return for touchdown as well. So second and 20 from the 23-yard line. Crowd trying to get into it here. And they're going to toss it again. Pressured, throws it over the middle, and open is Jason Wright at the 15-yard line. So four consecutive completions for Vincent. I finally find out his name. But he is very good. That's going to make it third and 12. 540 remains in the game. VMI 70% today on third down conversions. Vincent under center. Sanders in the back. Two tight ends set. And they will throw it again. Looks like some pass interference there. Wide open is Jason Wright. He has the pass, but he is taken down by Zuber Speed. Two yards shy of the first down. So VMI will send on the field goal unit most likely to go up three scores. And they do, in fact, send on the field goal unit. This is a 22-yarder. Should be an easy chip shot. If he misses, the stadium will erupt. And the kick is up. It is good. So a nice 12-play, 73-yard drive. That took 321 off the clock for VMI. And they go up 38-21. to There's still over five minutes remaining. Just over five minutes. But it's not looking good for the Bison right now. you got to get three touchdowns to win this game. 
And the way their offense has been playing, I don't see that happening. But maybe if they get a big special teams touchdown right here, you got Zoomer Speed, you got Oliver Vincent back there. Let's see who they kick it to. And it's going to be Vincent from two yards uh, away from his end zone. Follows a couple blockers, taken down at the 31-yard line by the face mask. So they're going to start off their drive at their own 36. So pretty good field position. But we need to see something out of Kelvin Jasper Jr. because he still is at negative passing yards for the game. And the game's almost over. So you gotta you gotta try something downfield. You gotta throw it out to Hawthorne or Erwin Dowski. Just anybody. Try to complete a pass. Instead, they're gonna hand it off to Nanakoke and he gets one yard. North Dakota State's offense looking like the Miami Hurricanes in real life right now. If only they could score 21 points in real life. My goodness. Second and nine. Henry Hamilton on fire. The defensive tackle. We finally have a completed pass. This is Max Hawthorne, the tight end. I've been preaching for it all game, and Max Hawthorne is gunned for the score. Huge touchdown. Oh, my goodness. How many times have I said Max Hawthorne's name today? I want them to get him the football. They finally do, and look what he does. Simple route and outruns everybody. You have to get your playmakers involved in the game. You see what VMI is doing with Bryson Shields. He's on special teams. He's catching passes. He's made big tackles today in the open field to stop North Dakota State drives. So you, if you're North Dakota State, you gotta get your playmakers involved one way or another. That's gonna get them within 10 points again. It's 38 to 28. So plenty of time, it only took 30 seconds for them to score on that drive. Finally, Kelvin Jasper Jr. connects with somebody, and Max Hawthorne gets his third touchdown reception on the season. Kelvin Jasper Jr. with his 11th touchdown pass this year. That gives him 15 total touchdowns. John Long on for the kickoff. And that did not look like a very good kick, but it does go eight yards deep. That looks so much shorter than it really was. And it was the best kick of the game. Eight yards deep and knelt down in the end zone for Bryson Shields. So VMI's offense comes back out. I fully expect them to run the football here with Cam Sanders. Maybe get Matt Keller a carry or two. And Sanders is alone in the backfield. Bryson's still going 3-4. I would run it right up the middle. And they're going to go play action and throw the football. And it's caught by Barry <laughs> for the first down. Steve Vincent, 120 passing yards today, one touchdown. And Jake Barry, his first reception of the game. And that's his 12th on the year, gives him over 250 yards. He also has two scores. Steve Vincent, 7 of 8 for a buck 20 with a touchdown. Absolutely perfect performance. Should be two touchdowns, but one was called back. And they're going to go play action again. And that pass is dropped. What are you doing, Joseph Martin? You're killing your quarterback's completion percentage. And you stop the clock. I'm not sure what VMI's trying to do here. I would keep handing it to Sanders. He's been phenomenal today. They will come out in the I formation here. And they're going to go option. Pitch it out, Vincent. Oh my goodness, that was so dangerous. I thought that... Lateral was going to go way behind Sanders. But it does keep the clock moving a little bit. But it is third and 14, so I'm expecting another throw here from Vincent. But he is under center, so who knows anymore. Token Nanakoke in there playing some linebacker. Vincent will throw it. Pressure, throws off his back foot, and it's completed to Matt Keller for no yards. Oh my goodness. The dangerous plays, the last two plays. Wow. But they will be running some more of this clock out. But North Dakota State, they've got the momentum now. Huge touchdown pass to Max Hawthorne. They get a quick stop on defense. Just over three minutes remain. Now you don't need a touchdown this drive. It would be ideal, but you gotta score something at least. So a field goal would be fine as well. 
back to return. Oliver Vincent taken down quickly. That was Jason Wright on the stop. And the Bison offense hits the field at the 33-yard line. So they've got to go 67 for a touchdown. And they got to at least get to maybe the 25 for a field goal. That would probably be the limit for the kicker. Calvin Jasper Jr. takes off right up the middle. Jukes. And he's going to pick up nine yards. His best run of the game. Look at the offense. Only 89 yards rushing today. And the season average is 234 for the Bison. Second and one. Clock is running down. North Dakota State going to save their timeouts as long as they can. We have yet to see Henry Hamilton make an impact today on the defensive line. Got Jasper Jr. almost picked off. What is he throwing to? Oh, my goodness. That was one of the worst passes today. He threw that directly to the linebacker. Good thing he has no hands. At least it stops the clock for the Bison. It's going to be third and one. North Dakota State 0 for 5 on third downs. VMI has been 0 for 2 their last third down conversions. Big formation, two tight ends set. Jasper shot over the middle and it's picked off. And that is Darius Peters. First time we've called his name today. That is his seventh interception. And that is tied for first in the country, but it's really not. Because once the rest of this week is simulated, it'll be second. Chris Numa and Ralph William have eight picks on the season. And that was a great play by the safety. Great reaction. And I got to believe VMI is going to come out of here with a victory now. Just come out, run the football here. Force North Dakota State to call their final timeouts. Here's Cam Sanders. Breaks the tackle. He ran right over a defensive end. And he picks up four yards. Bison saving their timeouts for now. Probably won't see them used until about the two-minute mark. VMI needs to run out as much clock as possible because there is still time in this game. One big play can change everything. And they will run as much as they can. Here's Cam Sanders breaking to the outside in the open field, taken down by Tahoka Nanakoke, but a huge first down on Cam Sanders' 21st carry. He's averaged five and a half yards per carry today, and I think that might just seal it. Bison still have two timeouts, but two more plays and those are gone. 330 yards of offense for VMI, only a buck 50 for North Dakota State. Cam Sanders gets another carry right up the middle and picks up six more yards. One timeout remains for North Dakota State. And they finally give it off to Matt Keller, and he falls forward for the first down. I think that's his first carry of the game, and he's going to spike the football, possibly getting a flag here. And he is very pumped. He's done a whole lot of nothing today except for block. But they don't get a flag thrown, so that's good for the Cadets. Still running the clock out. Hops, or Vincent, excuse me, Hops is out for the game. Vincent, audible in. Martin in motion left side. Keller's going to get the football again. Carries a defender for six yards. And that is going to get the clock down to one minute remaining. Zoomer speed player of the game for the Bison. 254 all-purpose yards. Joseph Martin, 152 all-purpose yards. Player of the game for the Cadets. Both have two scores. I'm expecting a Cam Sanders touchdown here. Maybe not on this play, but eventually. And Sanders does get the carry. And he gets the first down to the five-yard line. And that's going to be the game, guys. 38-28 is the score. But the question is, will VMI score again before this game is over? Or will they just kneel down the ball? And it looks like they're in victory formation, so they're just going to kneel it down. And that's going to be it here from the Fargo Dome. 
38-28 is going to be the final. Big win for VMI as they improve to 4-0 in Big 12 play. North Dakota State suffers their first Big 12 defeat. Very poor performance today from the Bison offense. Calvin Jasper Jr. couldn't hit water if he fell out of a boat. And they're going to actually run the football here with Matt Keller getting to the two-yard line. So we might see a VMI score again. But Token Manico couldn't run the football today. Zoomer Speed had a nice long run, but he only had like one other carry. We didn't see Cameron May touch the football, which is very sad. He leads the Bison in rushing yards. And we will see another offensive play here, I think. Third and goal from the two-yard line. Vincent in the shotgun formation. They will run the football. Sanders is dropped by Austin Bracey, and that is going to be it. Austin Bracey, eight tackles today. And that's going to give him 45 on the year. But a huge win for the VMI Cadets. Rondé Barber and that team, they've won four straight, and they've been pretty much dominating all of their Big 12 opponents. I didn't expect them to really dominate this game, but they really did. I predicted a close one, 21-20, and they only won by 10 points. But if you take away all the special teams touchdowns today, they would have won by three or four touchdowns. So I'm very surprised in how poor North Dakota State performed on offense. Only 61 passing yards. Kelvin Jasper Jr., 3 of 10, 61 yards and a touchdown. He was sacked twice. Only 89 yards on the ground for the Bison. But Vincent, for VMI, was lighting up that team. Just torching that secondary. Bison 0 for 6 on third downs. One turnover in the game. There was an interception from Darius Peters. 344 kick return yards for North Dakota State. It's more than double of their offensive output. VMI controlled the clock. 17 minutes and 30 seconds they were on offense. North Dakota State didn't score until the opening kickoff of the second half. Up until then, it was 35 to seven, or 35, or 21-0. Excuse me, looking at the scores all wrong right now. <laughs> Don't mind me; it's early in the morning. Max Hawthorne, of course, with that big touchdown reception. Very poor performance for the quarterback today for the Bison. Zoomer Speed, one carry, 71 yards and a touchdown. Manicoke was a non-factor. Kevin Jasper Jr. was a complete non-factor today. Erwandowski, a non-factor. Jake Harlow allows two sacks today. So he is now allowed six on the season. That is not a good look for your left tackle. Austin Bracey, eight tackles. Marunde with six, two from sack. Super speed, four tackles. Nanako, three tackles, one for loss, one sack. Cameron May had a tackle. He didn't have any carries, but he did have a tackle. Bunch of sacks for the Bison defense today. And a lot of tackles for a loss. But no takeaways for the Bison, which they desperately needed one. They just never got it. John Long, the kicker, he came into this game 9 of 9 for field goals on the season. And he never even attempted one today. There's two kick returns for touchdowns. Oliver Vincent, Zoomer Speed. And Vincent also had some pretty decent uh, returns on punts. But Steve Vincent, 8 of 10, 120 yards, one touchdown, no picks. Hops was 4 of 8, 77 yards and a touchdown. So both quarterbacks played quite well. 125 yards on the ground for Cam Sanders. One touchdown for Justin Hobbs. Matt Keller had three carries for 16 yards. Bryson Shields had a carry for five. Shields also had a broken tackle. Jason Wright led the team in receptions along with Tez Benson. Benson led the team with 81 yards. 
Bryson Shields, two catches, 26 yards. Jake Berry, one for 14. Jason Wright, 43. And Joseph Martin, one for 30 yards and a touchdown. He did have another catch for a score, but it was called back. Cam Sanders, one catch, three yards. On another drop from Martin on the year. Jake Berry, nine pancakes. Wow. Who needs offensive linemen when you got Jake Berry? Not a lot of tackles for VMI. They weren't really on defense a whole lot today. Frank Rossner had two sacks there in the first quarter and did nothing for the remainder of the game. Bryson Shields, two tackles. They were both tackles on third down to stop a conversion. Henry Hamilton, one tackle. Darius Peters, no tackles today, but he had a pick. His seventh on the season. course Joseph Martin kick return for touchdown his first of his career and Bryson Shields his first career punt return for a touchdown but that is gonna be it for this game guys huge upset win for VMI I'm calling us that because North Dakota State was four and two they were on a roll they just had a huge win over Western Carolina of course VMI has now won four straight our next game is going to be the Bryant Bulldogs hosting the Wofford Terriers, who are 1-6 on the year. Bryant ranks 17th in the country, 6-0. and oh, That's locally televised. I will see you guys with that one tomorrow. Take it easy, guys.